This video explains how to handle the error message list object cannot be coerced to type double in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the list object that we can create with the lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new list is appearing, which is called my list. And we can print this list to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new list object which contains three list elements. And each of these list elements contains numbers. Now let's assume that we want to convert this list object to a vector object containing all the numbers in our list. Then we might try to use the sNumeric function as you can see in line seven of the code. However, if we apply the sNumeric function to our list, the error message list object cannot be coerced to type double is returned. And the reason for that is that first we need to unlist our list object. And we can do that as you can see in line nine of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using the unlist function to unlist our list object. And then I'm applying the sNumeric function to this output of the unlist function. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that no error message is returned anymore. And the output is a vector object that contains all the numbers in our list in the numeric format. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.